today we are going to talk about the design of the heat exchanger and we are going to discuss the fundamental equations which define the all the parameters which you need to specify while designing the heat exchanger let's start with the basic explanation of the figure this is a shell and a tube type heat exchanger as you can see this right here is a shell and you can see the tubes which are in the shell let's say that steam enters from here the hot fluid is entering from here it passes all the way through the tubes and it's leaving from here and the secondary fluid which is a cold fluid or you can call it cold water and just from here passes through here and leaves here this is a fairly simple diagram this is not what an actual heat exchanger looks like so we're going to start with the basic heat transfer equation i hope you will be familiar with this equation which is Q is equal to M C P delta T. Q is the heat transferred, M is the mass, C P is the specific heat at constant pressure, delta T is the difference in temperature. Now we can write this equation as Q dot is equal to M dot C P into delta T where Q dot is equal to heat transfer by unit time and similarly M dot is equal to mass transferred per unit time okay you might also be familiar with this equation that density is equal to mass over volume so we can also write this as density to do mass flow rate divided by volume flow rate or mass flow rate is equal to volume flow rate multiplied by density i'm going to replace this here so you get q dot is equal to volume flow rate multiplied by density multiplied by specific heated constant pressure multiplied by the difference in temperature now we're going to use the ideal gas law which is pressure multiplied by volume is equal to mass the ideal gas constant multiplied by the temperature okay we can also write this as P over RT is equal to M over V we have defined it before that M over V is equal to density I'm going to write it as density is equal to pressure over idle gas constant multiplied by temperature. Now, if we replace this here, we get Q dot is equal to V dot, which is the volume flow rate multiplied by the pressure over rt multiplied by specific heat at constant pressure multiplied by the difference in temperature okay you might also be familiar with the relation that gamma is equal to cp over cv and 
Cp minus Cv, which is a specific heat at constant pressure, minus specific heat at constant volume, is equal to R. Okay. Now, we are going to replace Cv here by Cv is equal to Cp minus R. So we get gamma is equal to Cp over Cp minus R. Inversing this, we get 1 over gamma equal to Cp minus R over Cp, which can also be written as 1 over gamma is equal to 1 minus R over Cp. Or you can also write it as 1 minus 1 over gamma is equal to R over Cp or gamma minus 1 over gamma is equal to R over Cp. Or you can also write invert this again and write Cp over R is equal to gamma over gamma minus 1. We also know that gamma minus 1 over gamma is equal to theta. This is the, the definition of theta. So Cp over R becomes Cp over R is equal to 1 over theta. Theta is defined as the complexity of the fluid. Okay, so if we go back to this relation right here, in this relation we have Q dot is equal to V dot P divided by T multiplied by Cp over R into delta T. I've just rearranged this relation. Nothing to worry about. Okay, now in this relation, we can change the Cp over R by the relation that we have derived, one by theta. So I'm going to write it as Q dot is equal to V dot P by T multiplied by 1 over theta multiplied by delta T. This is the final equation, which is the fundamental equation for the design of the heat exchanger. In this equation, the parameters are V dot I'm sorry, V dot, which is the volume flow rate, P, which is the pressure of the heat exchanger, T, which is the temperature of heat exchanger, Theta defines the complexity of the fluid. If the fluid is water or if it is mercury or any other fluid. And delta T is desired change in temperature and Q dot is the amount of heat transferred. Thank you for watching this video and I will follow up and explain more things about the heat exchanger in the upcoming videos. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you.